What's up, my little tattletales? Listen, a Kardashian's going Kardashian, yo. What am I talking about? Kim looks like people are speculating that she might actually be looking at Johnny Depp as her next target. Now, listen, hear me out. I know some of y'all are like, girl, stop, but just hear me out, right? Let me know if you think it's a reach or let me know not. First of all, let's talk the most obvious Johnny Depp, right? Now, back in the day, he was a heartthrob. He has clout. We saw from the Amber Heard trial whether he believed he was big or not. He just joined TikTok. He got 4 million followers in like just two hours. Probably now he's probably up to who knows how many. He is the person to watch. He is a hit score, right? Not even that. Let's just talk about it. Now, he can definitely elevate Kim in the ways that she wants. What are those? We are about to get into that. But before we do, hit that like, subscribe, notification button. You know your girl is trying to get to 1 million. Please, please, please give me a help out. But let's get into this, right? First, let's talk about the basics. Kim and Johnny. Let's get into this report. And this is from people.com. You know, the Kardashians only plan things in people and they want people to know about it. And as far as looks, shut up, y'all, because the Pete the skeet pass around dirty sock davidson can lay up in pete and kim's face all night look at you no come on johnny depp you cannot say he is worse than pete davidson he might not be in his prime but damn it he ain't never or never gonna be a pete even when he's 90 years old so anyway they said kim kardashian confesses she was obsessed with johnny depp she says the actor was one of her first crushes even though she doesn't go for the bad boy type kim shut up you literally have a tape out. You are, you, you know what? Let's go on. People goes on to say, sorry, Kanye West, but apparently Johnny Depp captured Kim Kardashian's heart first. Before becoming Mrs. West, the reality star had a crush on the man behind Captain Jack Sparrow. She literally said she used to swoon over Johnny Depp when she was 18. What's more, she said she was obsessed with Johnny Depp when she was a teenager. I thought he was so hot. He was gorgeous and he had that bad boy streak, especially when he was with Winona Ryder and then Kate Moss. I loved looking at couples and wondering what was attracted them to each other. I didn't go for bad boys as a general rule. I never went for party boys, but it was certainly attracted to Johnny Depp physically. You know what the funny thing is? Here she goes again putting on that good girl role that Travis Barker alleged that she put on with him in the book y'all can fall for this mess if you want now she actually revisited this re rumors and resurfaced in an episode of keeping up with the kardashians when she told i think it was kylie that she had a crush on johnny depp yes she literally just on keeping up with the kardashians said she had a crush on johnny depp again y'all might be like tisa you reach him but this actually does have some clout it actually points are being made you guys the reason Kim is with Skeet is because, one, she thought it would open her up to a new demographic, a younger demographic, right? I, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in that whole dirty sock frat boy demographic. I don't know. Maybe it does. She also thought that it could help her with connections into acting. If you guys don't know, Keeping Up With The Kardashians on Hulu has not been a success. Why Hulu claims they had the biggest numbers ever for a Hulu premiere. Can you guys just actually think about what that statement meant? It's a Hulu premiere. Nobody, that Hulu is not HBO. It is not opening box, uh, box office weekend. But I will say this. They didn't pay them for $100 million just to get all the Hulu watchers to watch them. Other people are watching Hulu. They already have those subscribers. They paid them $100 million to actually bring in new subscribers. The number for new people that have signed up to Hulu to watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians are zero. Why would somebody pay to watch something free that we used to watch just with a regular basic cable package? But it's not even that. Hulu has not released any numbers for that opening weekend which i think was just pure hype because they were trying to get people to watch but even after that the numbers have been dismal and it's been reported that the execs are super super mad and somebody might be getting fired over it again i know there's a headline but you guys dig a little deeper and ask but where's the evidence that anything in this headline is true give us some numbers hulu but they won't because it hasn't been good even by hulu standards however kim knows because she's always been a smart businesswoman that everything is declining so better to jump from reality star into actress even if it's a comedic actress just kind of on a sitcom kind of making fun of herself again 
This is another thing with Pete. I think they are hoping that she has some type of role on Pete's new show that I think is beginning to film in August. Don't forget, Pete is going to be gone all of summer in New Zealand. Now, if they don't get engaged, and it looks like they are moving toward that, um, Johnny Depp will be perfect. It would really put Kim on the map. It will make her international splash. Johnny Depp is super high profile. He's super talented. His name goes far. And on top of that, he's not in his right mind right now. It seems like prime Kardashian territory for me with Kim. And again, the Kardashians don't just throw out names. Whenever they say anyone's name, whether it's an actor, model, actress, a podcast, they're doing it for a reason. But let's get back into this report where Kim is literally talking about her crush on Donnie, right? Listen, she said, um, uh, listen, she literally said that she really, really, really had a crush on him, really, really liked him. Now, let's talk about what's going on with Pete Davidson. I know everybody is talking about those fake articles about how Kanye feels about Pete being with his kids. I mean, we can guess he ain't happy about it, right? However, Kim keeps moving, moving, moving Kanye closer and closer and closer together. All I can say with that is, it. Look, listen, Kim was raised by Kris Jenner. Chris Jenner knows where the bag at. She knows where the money's at. And all I will say is this. Kim does not care. She is scandalous. It don't matter if those kids say, I love you new daddy Pete. Old daddy. Shout out to Juice Adora. Old daddy Kanye sucks. We like new daddy Pete. I guarantee you, even if that happens, Pete will be gone in a heartbeat. If somebody more powerful, more money, or more high profile comes in now don't get me wrong pete can still come around the back deliver milk to the house probably if you know what i mean with kim's alleged bde that he has but honestly kim don't care she uses everything as a pawn she's even letting her kids go on photo ops to walmart cvs rite aid or whatnot with dirty sock pete listen let me see some those kids in some dirty socks and i'm calling child social services because that's a travesty toward but again if y'all think that Kim won't jump ship to somebody more high profile because Pete and what they're building, please, you must not know who Kim mom is. You must not know how. Listen, this is the same woman that dumped somebody in 72 days. Y'all can sleep with y'all want and say what you want. But I guarantee she's putting, I think, in my opinion, this is all my opinion, right? Even my guarantees are my opinion that she's literally doing all this mess and even putting Johnny Depp's name out because if she can date Johnny Depp, if she can t- score that heat card, if she can show up on Johnny Depp's arm, please, Pete who? Watch this space, y'all. Kim is always looking for a come up. And just like Hulu's a little disappointed with the way that Keeping Up With The Kardashians have been tracking, maybe Kim's a little bit disappointed that this little, whatever she wants to call it with Pete, isn't really bringing the heat that she expects. All it's bringing is ridicule. Anyway, my little tattletales, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will talk to you later. Bye.